No dejen de apoyar a los guerreros en Twitter, mc-guerreros, y en Facebook, Mexico City Guerreros, www.mexicocityguerreros.com. Señoras y señores, para la primera pelea de la noche, for the first bout of the evening, aquí está en la esquina azul, Ernesto Garza. Ernesto Garza making his way to the ring here at the Jose Cuervo Salon. He's from Saginaw, Michigan. He's 22 years old. 2008 National Golden Gloves champion. He's got 11 years experience in the ring. He's a banger. He will fight basically the Mexican style in there, BJ. So that's what we expect from him. Making his way in now, there he is. His first time out in the opener down here, he lost to a really good Bantaway, Julio Abinari, who's a great talent. Garza got out work and he got on the winning board against Paulo Carvalho of Miami. Elias Emicio. They just announced the Mexico City Bantamweight, Elias Amicho, 19 years old, Lucitala Carrero, Mexico, been boxing seven years. His only loss on his record is against Rashi Warren, who's the number one man away in America. Ladies and gentlemen, the World Series of Boxing, la Serie Mundial de Boxeo, pelearán en el peso gallo, fighting in the bantamweight, five rounds. The first bout of the evening, la primera pelea de la noche, como referee estará actuando Gerardo Poggi de Argentina, presentando la esquina azul, presenting the blue corner. Con un récord en este torneo de una pelea ganada y dos perdidas. With a WSB record of one win and two losses. Directamente desde Michigan, Estados Unidos. The Memphis Force, Ernesto Garza. En la esquina roja, fighting over the red corner. Diez veces campeón nacional. Ten times national champion. Su record en este torneo, dos, per, dos peleas, ganadas dos peleas perdidas. De Citala Guerrero, México. Elías Emicio. Your referee for this first fight is Gerardo Poggi from Argentina. We bring her out to give him final instructions here. Let's take a look at the head to head. We've got Amigio and Garza, both 19 and 22 years old, about the same height, just about the same weight, similar records. Two Mexican style fighters looking to mix it up. Could be far worse. I think they'll be banging the whole way, and no doubt about that. A little bit of delay here with some tape. Francisco Bonilla, the uh, Olympic coach here in Mexico, is also the Guerrero's coach. They, they're sharing the tape. <laughs> and these gloves, it, you know that the, the Velcro really helps, DJ, that they still tape them over the top of that a little bit, the clear, the clear tape. 
uh, saved a little time, the, uh, the Velcro. <laughs> yep. Taking the uh, necessary safety precaution. Well, it tape. takes away that little trick they used to, the trainers used to pull when a guy needed a breather to pull a little tape off the glove. <laughs> Doesn't work out too well anymore, does it? No, you can't do that anymore. Now they have to have other tricks, you know. Now here's final instructions coming up. about the Vaseline, a little bit too much Vaseline gotcha. over the left eye, Benicio. Here we go, scheduled for five, Dynamite Division. And like DJ just said, I think they're going to come right at each other. I don't think anybody's going to do a lot of dancing or fancy footwork. Folks! You can see that Garza is a southpaw. Here that Garza is actually coming out working a jab effectively using that southpaw jab to try to set up his other punches. Well, they've been very cautious when they're a lot of respect for one another, obviously, coming in here. Like I said, Amijo is an accomplished national champion down here. He gets caught with a little bit of a left right there. Ooh, Garza banging away. Good shot to the bottom. Here we go. What people want to hear. <laughs> Good work inside by both fighters. Good body shot by Miggio. Fantastic. Nice. Hard punches early in this fight. Good left uppercut. These guys are really mixing it up in here. Yeah, they didn't take them long to get heated up, did it? <laughs> they sure didn't. Exactly what we expected. Miggio going to the body. Garza trying to do the same thing. Good body shots by oh, Miggio. Fantastic. Great, beautiful <laughs> counter shot by Garza right in return. Miggio just walked through a left hand. Nice little uppercut in there. Here we go, folks. You name your punch, they're throwing it. Oh, Ooh, good nice left up up. Oh, right hand back from Mijo. Two Bantamweights just rocking and a rolling here in the first round of the first fight in Mexico City. One thing we're seeing early here too, Alan, is Amigio's really setting up that left hook to the body. He's dug it in about five or six times real nice now. We're gonna see if he sticks with that. That could pay dividends later on in the fight. Very short, sharp, compact punches by both fighters. Garza's in the purple trunks, Arch Trio. He just got that left hand again. That's his power punch. Good counter punch by Garza. He kind of waited for Miggio to shoot the right hand, lean to the outside. Caught him with another good left hand right there. He's finding the home for that punch. He's got Garza going sideways a little bit here. Miggio applying the pressure. <laughs> they must have thrown a thousand punches already. 47 seconds left in round number one. Uppercut! Uppercut! Right counter! Banging away! Vicious shots inside by Amigio. Nice, compact shot. Another good hook to the body. Garza's going to have to move his head and do something to be able to offset that left hook to the body. This is a tough guy. He's got that right good hand. Body, body shot. shots, more body shots, as BJ's talking about. Garza's heading. Home. He doesn't want to be standing in the corner like that. He'll get chopped down. He might want to move out or spin out. Another body shot. Devastating left hook to the body. I don't know how many of those Garza can take. He's already starting to look a little winded. Oh, he's getting wiped out right now with those body shots, BJ. Good call. Mexican-style body puncher. This guy's a real, real, real pure body puncher. Beautiful shots, beautiful left hooks. Nice right hand to close the round. I was going to mention the only Stop. guy that's gotten in the round one. Wow. As I mentioned, the only guy that's really gotten to... That's got to this guy is Rashi Ward, and Rashi Ward is going to go to the World Championships. So, no, no disgrace on Mijo. Rashi Ward is going to go to the Rashi Ward. Coming up for round number two now. Let's see if uh, Mijo continues to land that left hook to the body. Well, Garcia, you could see Garza, excuse me, at the end of that round, he was getting a little bit wobbly. It was because of body, body effects. I think that 
Coach Bradley was trying to tell him over there, like you were talking about, move that head a little bit more. Don't just stand there and get banged onto the body like that. It's gonna, you're gonna be taken out of here. And it's obvious that Amigio, just like many, good left hand, good oh, punches. Go, go, go. Just like a lot of Mexican style fighters, Amigio's best hand is his left hand, and he's got that incredible left hook of the body. If I'm Garza, I'm gonna start to slide to my left a little bit away from Amigio's left hook. That's his hardest punch. Keep the punches up. This yep. Poji. Traditionally, Garza should want to move to his right side away from Amigio's power hand, but in this particular su situation, I think Amigio's strong hand is left hook, and he's gotta, Garza's got to switch it up, go the other way a little bit. Amigio keeps going back to right and left, he really, sometimes he shifts his stance on us, BJ. He does. Headbutt there. Good left hand by Garza. Garza's boxing a little better at the beginning of the second round, kind of controlling the tempo a little bit. He's got to do that. He can't fight an inside fight with a Mexican fighter that punches too hard and the punches are too compact. Got to keep him out on the end of your punches. That's what Coach Bradley was trying to tell him over there. But boy, it's been action packed, bantamweight fight so far. They're not going to disappoint anybody with they bring. That's what's so Bottom exciting shot. about the world. Ooh, good right punches by Garza. Two, two good punches by Garza. And digs a nice body shot right after. Nice I think we're starting right to see the momentum turn a little bit. Good right hand by Amigio. We're starting to see the momentum turn a little bit. The Mexican fighter starting to move back a little bit. Garza's coming forward and starting to land his own shot. Wow. Just standing in the middle of the ring, trading big blows. There's that left hand got through from Garza. He landed a big shot about 20 seconds ago that kind of turned it around on Amigio. This is where Garza's got to be careful in that close quarter range. He's got to make sure that he doesn't get caught up in trading punches with the harder puncher. I knew they were going to come straight forward. You want to know nobody was going to be dancing in this fight. Amigio just got caught on the end of that one. Amigio's been hurt in this round. Good body shot again by Garza. I think Amigio might have punched himself out a little bit. He maybe came out fighting in his hometown, was a little too excited, and uh, let his hands go a little too much. And they look, he looks a little fatigued to me in this round, Alan. Garza's starting to back him up a little bit and starting to gain control. He's using his shoulders and his body. Amigio's on the ropes, bouncing off. He's, He's hurt. hurt Amigio, Garza, yeah. Amigio's hurt. You see his mouth so he's going to try breathing through his mouthpiece. He's trying to hold now. Wow. How much more of these heavy shots can either fighter take? Sure. Just in the second round, 24 seconds. One of the blistering rounds I've ever seen. Amigio better hope he knocks Garza out with one of these punches because he's expending a lot of energy using him. And if he does, he's going to be in trouble in rounds four and five, I feel. Final seconds of another lightning fast round here between these bantamweights. What a way to get the show started tonight in Mexico City. These two guys going toe to toe and laying it on one another. Good round for Garza that round. All right, you see Amijo reaching now and missing. He's missed three times there. And finally, he, he gets caught right here in the throat. There's the big punch right there. Nice right hook, right on the top of the head. Amijo's got to be careful, let him stand straight up right there. He keeps landing that left hook on the back of the head as well. He'll shorten that up a little bit and find the range with uh, Garza's chin. He'll have a lot more success in his fight. He's just a little behind on that punch. But keep the hands up, because he's throwing wide shots. Wide shot. Counter it. Get, get to the counter, baby. All right? That jab works. You have to jump and drop that left hand to the bottom. He don't know you're a dog. Here we go, round three. Garza is in the purple trunks. The Mexican colors are on Amijo. Amijo ate some big, big shots that last round. Good right hand by Amijo. As soon as I say that, there they go again. Another right hand from Garza. They're just letting their hands go. They're just going at it, BJ. There's no doubt about it. Just, they're trying to take each other out any way necessary. I'm real surprised that Amigio didn't have to do anything to land that straight and that overhand right. He just walked right in and landed it. Garza cannot get hit with punches like that. These guys are all too good. They all have too much power. You know, you've got to make a guy work to land a shot. And uh, Amigio just walked right in, loaded up, and hit him with it. Garza's got to look out for that. I'm looking for a clash of heads. I've already had a couple, but nothing's opened up on him. You've got the righty-lefty situation here that is always dangerous. Playing away from the outside, and Garza comes ripping up through the inside. Amijo might have been well to keep banging away the body he did in the first round. He went away from that in the second round. It cost him. 
Garza got his second win in that second round. You probably have it even after two, I would guess, Mr. Flores. I do. I actually got a 19-19. I get the first round of Amigio, second round of Garza. Another big right hand by Amigio. He's landed that punch two or three times in this round. And Garza's looking a little winded now. His punches are really taking their toll on, on the youngster. Yeah, he's over there trying to take a rest on the ropes, but that's not the place to be. He landed a right hand also. Boy, these kids are going at it. Their final show of the year, and they want to go out with a bang for sure. Now Mijo's got the corner. He steps away, but his hands are down now. Both of them looking like it, it was like who, who, oh, who goes that first? That left hook landing, and then look at the work inside. That is Amigio's bread and butter punch, that left hand, but he's landed a couple big overhand rights, nice right hand of the body, nice work by Garza, but I would like to see Garza get on his feet a little more when he's punching, and what I mean is put his weight over his feet so he's actually getting some power on those punches, and they're not just arm punches. This is a five-round fight, and he's got to make his punches count. Excellent. Sometimes they say sit down on the punches. Exactly. So you know exactly what I mean. Oh, right, right hand got in on Garza's <laughs> Been hit upside. There's a left hook again. And traditionally, against a southpaw like Garza, you're supposed to be able to land the right hand left hook. And uh, you know, Amigio's really taking that advice to heart this round. Another big right hand. He cannot miss that shot this round. Amigio hits and then tries to walk away. And Garza gets right back on top of him. What a fight this has been! Unbelievable action here. Bantamweight division. Remember, what you're watching are the best amateurs in the world fighting pro style. Right boy, hand are they. Beautiful right hand by Amigio. He set it up by shooting the left hook first, blinded Garza for a split second, the right hand landed. Good work by Garza on the ropes. Amigio turns it around, comes back right at the bell. Let's take a look at some of the action. A round where I feel like Amiju actually regained some of the momentum. You see him landing a nice overhand right. Wow. Garza actually reaching a little bit with his left hand. And he's not able to block that punch whenever he's reaching. Here once again you have Garza trying to come up the middle with the left uppercut. Comes just short. And Amigio just clips him with the overhand right. A lot of good punches for Amigio in that round. Another good left hook. A round where we saw the Mexican fighter regain control and uh, you know go up two rounds to one on my scorecard. That's what I want you to pick it up. We keep it even all the way up, all right? All right, baby, just your fight. Don't let him steal it. But guess what? Don't just walk in and put a double jab in his face sometimes. Then you stick that left hand in there. Good work. Good work. Ours is getting good advice from his trainers over there, Coach Bradley. I'm sure Coach Bradley's been around for a long time, giving Garza the necessary advice, letting him know, hey, we cannot continue to get hit with those overhand rights in this round if we want to have a chance to win the fight. Round number four here from the Jose Cuervo Salon in Mexico City. These two panel weights, how much they have left in the tank. They're down to the business end of this fight. Rounds four and five. Amigio probably came back. Ooh, the right hand. You see the, the water they put on Amigio in the corner flying across the ring as Garza hits him. I mean, this is going to be whoever uh, is standing after all this attrition through three rounds. Left up it's not only hard punches, it's conditioning at this point. Garza trying to reach out there with that right hand hook of his, pumping the jab out there. Both of them pumping the jab out there. You know what they're looking for, though. They're looking for that big shot. Wow. I think in a weight division like this, it's a mistake to look for that big shot. I think they need to go in there and shoot three or four punches like you just saw Garza do, up and down, and eventually they're going to start to find the opponent. Good shot, good shot by Garza. Good answer. Left hand of the body in there. Well, Garza's doing a good job of throwing a lot of punches. Hard oh. shots by Amigio gets real hard. Gets great leverage on the shots. Wow, look at him go. Unbelievable leverage for a pentamate. Well, he, <laughs> Amigio is the two-time gold medalist down here in Mexico. Pentamate champion. You see evidence of why that is. I mean, a very, very strong puncher on the inside. Very, very complete fighter. And Garza's won everything out there for him. The National Golden Gloves, Police Athletic League. Didn't get much higher than that. The amateurs in America with the amateur fighting. But I'll tell you what, these two guys, a little bit of a slip right there. Mijo won. I think he wanted a couple more seconds down there. <laughs> Take a breather. Yeah, he did, but now that he's back on his feet, you can guarantee he's going to be slinging those left hooks to the body again. And the Garza needs to be careful of those. 
happening if this fight continues to follow the pattern that it's followed. I look for Garza to win this round. They've got one, two rounds for Amigio, one round for Garza, pretty much trading rounds back and forth. So uh, Garza's not having a bad round here so far. I think Amigio looks a little bit windy, more, more tired. The headbutt, they just got blood too. There's the headbutt I was worried about. I knew it was coming and we got blood. It's a bad one. It's pouring out of there. I got to take a look at it. But well, they're going to keep going. Okay, I thought the doctor would come up and look at it, but why not? Just keep going. Now, usually when there's a cut like that, we'll see how the young Amicho reacts to it. He might feel desperate. He might be motivated by it. You never know how a fighter's going to react to that. Exactly. See if he's ever been cut before. A lot of experience goes into these fights, Alan. If you've been cut before, you know to relax. Look at Garza starting to turn the Good oh, luck hit by Garza. Big shot. Best punch in the fight for Garza so far. Oh, he's got, he's got a Mijo hand hand Big punches. There's enough time in this round for Mijo. Mijo's in a bad way right now. He's fighting his way out of it. What a huge shot that was on the ropes. What an exciting bantamweight fight. You couldn't ask for much more for two young men. <laughs> we said it earlier, Alan, in the training rounds, back and forth. Garza comes back with a big left hand to steal the round. Hardest punch of the fight for him. I think this fight's still up for grabs. Francisco Medina's going to have to go to work over there right now. And also make sure his fighter's okay. Breathe on him. Breathe on him. Drink this. Drink See Garza landed a nice right hook behind the ear a little bit. Amicio coming back and just calling him comes falling a little short on that punch. See if they show the replay of the nice left hand. Garza doing some good effective work against the ropes here. He catches Amicio on top of the head. Another good shot. The third punch is the one that landed there, Alan. Just like we were talking about earlier. He didn't load up that round. He shot punches and combinations, and good he had work, a lot of success. Good work. It is the fifth and final round of what has been one of the best fights of the whole entire season. I've done 20-something of these fights, and this is definitely the fight. I, I would put this fight in the top five I've seen all year. It's a great fight, and I think this fight really comes down to this round. Who wins this fight? I feel like it's two rounds apiece. I feel like Garza's got a little more momentum right now. Um, Amigio might be the better skilled fighter, but I think Garza's got the momentum, and, uh, you know, I, I look for him to come on here in this round. Garza wants to, both fighters want to close their season out with a victory, and it's all about guts right now. Oh, great work inside there. All intestinal fortitude here. Mijo looking good early in this fifth round. Garza keeps throwing a lot of punches, but how effective are they? Great left hook, Mijo digging into the body here. Now Mijo starting to stand his ground a little bit. Another big left hook, Garza fires back. The right hand from Garza, good counter, right hand. Garza digging into the belt line. They're good just shot throwing, Garza. they're letting it all go. Big, big, big shot, shot. The big left hook. Big left hook, heads clashing. They're gonna take about oh, three seconds off, and here they go again. 153 left in the fifth round. What a fight. What a way to start the night. It's what the World Series of Boxing has been all about, folks. Men out there trying to earn a reputation, not protect their records. Amigio showing a lot of heart in this round, Alan. He got a bad cut in the last round. He comes out this round immediately digging into Garza's body, landing short shots, cupping shots. He's, uh, you know, he's in control this round so far. See if he can hold on. It's halfway through the final round. It's got, oh, good uppercut right there from Garza. Oh my goodness. Beautiful body shot by Amigio. You see both guys starting to fatigue a little bit. Both are having to go over the road. is tired, hands by his side oh, a little bit. Oh, just landed a great combination up, upstairs. Nice flurry off the ropes. Look at that. My goodness. What a fight. You're talking about a, a Mexican war. We got one right here. Crowd going crazy. Minute left in round number five. Scintillating action from start to finish. Both guys won it. Will they both be standing at the end? The Guerrero fans urging Amicio. Keep Garza to pick his hands up. I think Garza's hurt here. He's got to pick his hands up and get out of this corner. Otherwise, this, he's going to be in danger of getting stopped. Amicio is the harder puncher. Garza is completely exhausted. His arms are completely weary now. Not much on those punches anymore. Not much at all. And Amicio has just maintained a steady pace in this fifth round. 29 Good seconds punches. left. They're going to close it in style. Left hook. Left hand from Garza. Left hook from Amicio. Back and forth. Amicio is completely on the They're just on. unbelievable. Just letting Garza. it go. That's all they're doing. Just letting it go. 
Mijio's landing the harder punches here. I, I'm giving him this round. He's landing the cleaner, harder punches. He stole the fight. All the way to the bell. bell. <laughs> All the way to the bell. What a fight. What a show. The Mijio right at the end got hurt. Or he just run out of gas. <laughs> I can't tell which. He actually shot a right hand and missed. And he's so fatigued. Great fight. What a way to start the night. Oh my goodness. Coach Bradley, proud of his fighter over here from Memphis. It's going to be a one point fight and score either way after this. I think it is too. I got a three round and two for Amicio. Garza's got nothing to hang his head about. He fought a fantastic fight. And you know, we still got to hear what the judges say, but that's how my scorecard happened. And uh, you know, being in Mexico City, I really highly doubt that, uh, you know, it's going to go in Garza's favor. But it was a fantastic fight. Some of the action for round five. Nice left. Great right hand by Amicio, right on the chin. Used the left action, blinded. Landed the right hand right behind. Kind of a cupping shot, didn't really do a whole lot, that shot there. Now Garza, Garza came up the middle and used the uppercut very effectively throughout the fight, but you know, in the end, it's a little, a little too late. You couldn't ask for much more from these young men. There's no way they could have given any more tonight than what they did in those five rounds. Unbelievable fight, unbelievable action. I think we saw a little evidence in that fifth round of uh, Amigio having the better pedigree. Garza was on the ropes, trying to exchange with his hands down by his waist. Amigio mixed in a little head movement, mixed in some harder punches, and uh, you know gave him the edge in that round. And in the fight. Both guys fought a courageous fight, though. They meet in the center of the ring. They know they Señoras put on a show. Si, Here comes uh, Victor Pernico. We have the score. And uh, Roland Lave dio la pelea 48 a 47, 48 47. Roberto Servide 49 a 46, 49 46. Jones Kennedy 48 a 47, 48 47. Todo a favor, all on behalf of the winner by unanimous decision, el vencedor por decisión unánime, Elias Emicho. Well, that went just about the way we thought it was going to go. One judge had it 49-46. Vic DJ Flores had it 48-47. I had it 48-47. A great fight nonetheless. Either one could have won this fight, but he got, I think he came on in the end and won it. So that means because we had the uh, we had the forfeit in the middleweight rounds, and Mexico City is now up two to nothing in this fight. And for Memphis to win tonight, they'll have to win the final three in a row. se vuelve a engalanar con la presencia de las guerreras no olvides que la mercancía de los Mexico City Warriors está a la venta en este lobby principal
of BJ Flores. We're here live with Elias. He fought a fantastic, excellent fight. Elias, my first question for you is, how did you feel in there tonight? Um, what was the key to the victory tonight? ¿Cuál fue la clave de la victoria esta noche? Yo creo este estuve en la preparación, ya que tuve algún pequeño de problema con el peso, estaba muy arriba y el corte fue también algo muy grave, pero la clave fue el trabajo, mucha condición y la esquina. Since I have a very uh, good physical preparation, I was able to win the fight because I struggled a little with weight this time and the cut didn't help me neither on the fight, but it was a good fight. It was a very good fight. You continued to land a tremendous left hook to the body the entire fight. You feel like the left hook with the body was the key to, uh, to being so successful with your other punches. Did the left hook of the body help you set up your other punches tonight because it landed tremendous and it landed very consistently? Eh, constantemente estuviste golpeando a tu rival abajo. ¿Crees que eso tuvo algo que ver también para chicas. que pudiera cerrar la pelea fuerte? Sí, yo creo que eso fue importante ya que este era este una clave porque yo venía muy este fatigado con lo del peso y yo creo que ese también fue un punto clave para ganar la pelea. I came very fatigued because uh, I was dropping weight, so. I think I think the body the body work to to my opponent was was key to the success. Dropping weight or not, he fought an excellent fight tonight. Congratulations to him, and we'll look for more big things from him in the future.